Today's show is brought to you by the Pittsburgh Opera. The Pittsburgh Opera is presenting an adulterous double feature not seen here since 1996. It's got jealousy, two-timing, and revenge all united in the back-to-back tragedies of Cavalleria Rusticana and Pagliacci. Possessiveness, machismo, and rage fuel their bloody conclusions. And you can enjoy these two amazing operas on the same night, November 9th through the 17th. That's with the Pittsburgh Opera, who asks, where can we take you? Learn more at pittsburghopera.org slash citycast. Today on CityCast Pittsburgh, Thanksgiving is just two weeks away. And if you haven't made dinner plans yet, that's okay. There is no need to panic. Whether you're hosting a big family gathering, bringing a dish to a Friendsgiving celebration, or planning a feast for one, there are so many spots to order everything from a few delicious sides to a full Thanksgiving meal. It's Thursday, November 14th. I'm Megan Harris, and here's what Pittsburgh's talking about. I'm with CityCast newsletter editor Francesca DeBecco. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Megan. Hi. Uh, Since we are just talking about where to get food for Thanksgiving, uh, I think we should change up our opening question just a little bit. What's going to be on your Thanksgiving table? Oh, my table is all about the veggies, all about the sides, and all homemade. We try to make something a little bit different every year, but of course we have the staples like stuffing. Uh, My sister makes this amazing butternut squash souffle. And I don't touch the turkey personally. I'm a vegetarian, but Tread that um, tracks. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm here for all the sides. That's what makes it right. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm not ashamed to say actually that I feel like today's show is really meant for my people right now because the crew is definitely in our catering era. I love like that. everyone brings something small, but like knowing that the mains are covered, I feel like is letting us all relax a little bit these days, so we can enjoy each other, spend less time worrying over a stove and timing the meal. I really, really have gotten into like supporting local restaurants by ordering in advance. Absolutely. Uh, Well, that's good. I hope you've placed your order before this show, maybe, or you're, you know, finding what you want to put your orders in for. (laughs) Our research here has really helped me out. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, So let's start out with your needs, um, where you can get a full Thanksgiving dinner. Um, So you don't have to do any of it yourself. Yeah. And a heads up here that some of these have truly everything done for you. Some are completely prepped, but still need to be cooked. And most require at least reheating on the day you plan to serve. Although there are some same day delivery options. Um, We're also going to try to include the order by and pickup dates where we know them. But just in case you miss any of the details, you can always find it in our show notes and also on our website at pittsburgh.citycast.com. FM. Yes. So first up, Mediterra. Uh, they have already prepped herb brine turkeys. So all you need to do is pop it in the oven. I know this is going to save some people on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Um, and then everything else is a la carte. So you can really choose your own adventure. They have the classic sides like mashed potatoes, candy yams, sweet and spicy roasted Brussels sprouts. That sounds so good. And mac and cheese, you know, classic comfort food. Um, And obviously, they have amazing baked goods. uh, But their Thanksgiving-specific pastry menu has rolls, pumpkin pie, pound cake, cinnamon rolls, and a lot more. Um, So if you order by November 20th, you can pick up on November 26th or 27th. um, And that's at any of their locations in Lawrenceville, Mount Lebanon, or Swickley. Yeah, and pretty soon Seven Fields up north, my Butler County fam is very excited for that location to open up. Uh, Next up, Sprezzatura. They have a huge list of options that would be great for any crowd, meat eaters, vegetarians, vegans. Um, Their turkey mains include a roasted option, um, meatballs made with turkey, walnuts and cranberries. They also have veggie and vegan lasagna trays that look really good. I'm here for it. And then sides include wild rice, sausage, and mushroom stuffing, a sesame 
sesame glazed carrot, uh, green beans, greens. Uh, and then dessert, they have vegan pumpkin pie, pumpkin chocolate chip bundt cakes, and vanilla bean cheesecake. It all looks so good. You order by November 24th for this one and pick up on Thanksgiving morning in Millville. That sounds so good. Kind of in the same area, Farmer Baker out in Aspenwall is really great for smaller gatherings. So they have turkey, mashed potatoes, local mushroom gravy, roasted veggies, stuffing, cranberry relish, like the whole the whole nine yards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, also, of course, like rolls with whipped maple butter. Amazing. Um, so they have dinner for two people for $125 and dinner for four for $250. Um, and if you want dessert, they also got a salted maple pie. That's $35. Um, and I didn't see an order by date, but I recommend doing it as early as you can in case they sell out. But pickup is on November 27th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the River Trail Park in Aspenwall. And that's the day before Thanksgiving for the for if you're not staring at a calendar. Yeah, yeah. Also, a uh, good thing to know, Farmer Baker is actually moving from their spot in 2025. I'm so sad. I love that spot along the river. Um, but if you love their food, you can go and check it out before they um, go through their moving process. And the lo- new location is to be determined. But they also said it's going to be on a waterfront spot. So excited mm. for them. Yeah. Um, If Thanksgiving is like a full dinner is outside your budget right now, you can also reach out to Holiday Meals Pittsburgh. Um, We'll link their order form in our show notes. They're delivering free meals with turkey, mashed potatoes and gravy, green beans and pie to people in Allegheny, Butler and Westmoreland counties. So those orders have to be placed by November 22nd, delivery on Thanksgiving. Um, Or if it's just on your heart to help with the organization, they're looking for volunteer drivers uh, and their website has a donation link as well. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. I feel like everyone needs a delicious hot meal. Definitely. Well, moving to the Strip District, we're stopping at Penne Pronto. Um, This spot has a full Italian American meal kit that's just ready to reheat. Um, So instead of turkey, you can switch it up with some porchetta and gravy. Um, This sounds so good, Megan. Cacio e pepe (laughs) mashed potatoes stuffing, cauliflower casserole, Italian cookies, and more. Uh, You can feed two for $74 or four for $140, and orders will go until sellout. So pick up your meal kit on November 27th from 12 to 6 p.m. I feel like an Italian-American meal kit that only feeds two is like sort of its own art form. Usually <laughs> anything Italian-American is going to feed like a large crowd. So this like, this feels like a special treat. I can attest to that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Carmi Soul Food over in the South Side. They had a Thanksgiving pre-order situation last year. As we're recording this, there's nothing up on their website specifically for Thanksgiving, but their just regular catering menu is worth a shout out because it is just so very holiday friendly. Yeah. Like turkey is even an entree option. So they have sides like cornbread, uh, cornbread stuffing, which by that, I hope they mean dressing, like southern yeah. cornbread dressing, <laughs> um, candied yams, green beans, mashed potatoes. Um, they're even doing like mixed greens with smoked chicken. There's just so so many different package and size options for their meals, and they've got a delivery option as well. Yeah, that's really great for any occasion, uh, but especially around the holidays. So, Megan, I want to move over to Hazelwood um, Community Kitchen out there. It's a nonprofit, and they have training programs that works with people to get into jobs in the culinary industry. Mm-hmm. And they're doing a whole array of things that you can get catered. Um, they have hors d'oeuvres, fruits and veggies, um, cheese, meat trays, desserts, plus a full holiday dinner. Um, the main course includes turkey breast and seared beef tenderloin. Uh, but they also do a dinner for one that's $28. It comes with turkey, stuffing, sweet potatoes, and cranberry. Uh, but make sure you get your orders in by November 20th at noon so that you can pick it up on November 27th by also 12 p.m. Yeah, I, I would recommend jumping in because I actually tried to order from them last year and they didn't have anything left by the time I was making my choices. So yeah, do it now. <laughs> yeah, support them quickly. Um, if turkey and Thanksgiving sides are maybe not for you, we have a couple more dinner options options. Um, one, including pierogi. So Pulsk Alaska is taking orders on their Instagram page. Pierogi are $20 a dozen. Uh, and the options are 
really decadent. So there's duck confit, a vegan gobblerogi, so Ooh. like kind of a little like Thanksgiving dinner in a brogi, potato cheddar, farmer's cheese. Uh, they have more. You can also get like spetzla haluski, uh, sauerkraut pancakes, cabbage. They have desserts. Orders are open until the 22nd, and then pickups are on November 26th and 27th, and that's at their shop in Sharpsburg. This is such a Pittsburgh Thanksgiving. I love this. <laughs> yeah. And last but not least, we have another Thanksgiving alternative. This one comes from producer Sophia Lowe, a recommendation. Um, It's El Calibri, and they have a friend feast if you want tacos and tamales. Um, This is perfect for your Friendsgiving or just any crowd. Yeah, shout out to Sophia. Uh, The taco options are beef and mushroom. For tamales, you can get chicken or veggie. It all comes with a bunch of toppings. Plus, you get two types of agua fresca and flan. So one package will feed six to eight people for $150. And then there's another that will feed 12 to 15 people. Such a big crowd for $280. You can choose your own pickup date over there in Oakland. Today's show is brought to you by Handmade Arcade. Here on the CityCast Pittsburgh team, we love shopping small and local, and every winter you are guaranteed to see all of us at Handmade Arcade's annual holiday market. It's going down this year, December 6th and 7th, and you've got to put it on your holiday to-do list. Our crew has picked up all kinds of unique gifts there, like gorgeous handmade wooden cutting boards, a crocheted hat that makes you look like a cute little brown bear, ornaments, art, jewelry, candles, handbags, prints, even a calendar once with monsters like Godzilla taking over national and local parks. Like, it is the best. This year's market will feature over 275 makers, plus free activities and live demonstrations, like beginner ceramics, glass blowing, and screen printing. Again, that's December 6th and 7th downtown at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. Tickets to shop at the main event are free, but you do have to register, or you can be a VIP like me and shop early without the crowds. That's Handmade Arcade's Friday night preview party or during Saturday's early birdie option. Get all the information and your tickets at handmadearcade.org. This episode is brought to you by Netflix. From the co-director of Shrek and the visionary behind Toy Story comes Spellbound, a magical new animated adventure starring Rachel Zegler, John Lithgow, Jennifer Lewis, Nathan Lane, and Titus Burgess with Javier Bardem and Nicole Kidman. When a powerful spell turns her parents into monsters, Princess Elian must journey into the wild to reverse the curse before it's too late. Watch Spellbound only on Netflix November 22nd. So maybe you're down to cook some stuff, like maybe your protein, for example, but you want help with sides or desserts or even snacks. Uh, We have got you covered there, too. Yeah. Black Radish Kitchen has some really great options if you're doing a DIY turkey. So you just, you know, need your sides taken care of. They're doing a package that feeds five to eight people for three hundred and fifty dollars. Think gravy with chive butter, mashed potatoes, onion fennel focaccia, blue cheese bread pudding, grilled carrot and pomegranate salad with pistachio, shallot and tahini, lemon vinaigrette. They didn't have an order deadline per se, but you definitely need to get your order in soon because they need to deliver it to you on November 27th. Then another option over in Lawrenceville, Pie Bird. Uh, You guessed it. They have a lot of pie options. (laughs) There's salted caramel apple, apple brown butter crumb, pumpkin. If you want to get fancier, you can check out options like cranberry, raspberry, ginger crumb. They've got a pumpkin s'more pie. You can check out all their options, um, but make sure you order by November 18th. They're doing pickup on Wednesday, November 27th in their Lawrenceville shop. They are where it's at for pies, for sure. Um, Another place that has amazing pies, along with other great baked goods and breads, um, is Third Space Bakery. Uh, We're a big fan of them out in Garfield. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of sourdough, and one of their holiday breads is actually pumpkin-shaped sourdough. I think it could double as a really beautiful centerpiece. And then if you want to get into pie, they have some interesting flavors there, too. Pear cranberry, a deep-dish apple, maple pumpkin pie, bourbon and pecan pie. Um, and that one looks like it's gluten-free. So options for everybody. Put in your order by November 20th for pickup on November 27th out in Garfield. 
Yeah. And then in Squirrel Hill, there's Five Points Artisan Bake Shop. Um, They just have so many baked goods to choose from really all the time. A really comprehensive list of breads. Um, You can find pastries, cookies, pies, but they have a really fun Thanksgiving menu, even one person pie options. If you're trying not to go too far overboard, order by November 21st for pickup Wednesday, Thursday, November 27th and 28th uh, at Five Points in Squirrel Hill. Okay, now for my veg heads, our our vegan and vegetarians in the house, we have some options for you too. We'll bring it home with Zenith uh, in the South Side. They are perfect if you are the lone vegan in your family and you just need a plate for yourself. They have something called the No Turkey Vegan Holiday Rescue Kit. This has seitan, stuffing, mashed potatoes with gravy, green beans, cranberry sauce, curry yam soup, and pumpkin spice cake. That's all for $21. I think that's a bargain for yeah. <laughs> compared to everything. And their food is so good. Yeah. And um, so you can call the No Turkey Hotline by November 20th for pickup on November 27th in the South Side. And you can find that number on our website. Yeah. Another one that was new to me, Moods Co. or company. Uh, they're great if you have a whole crew that's plant-based. So you can get fried oyster mushrooms, vegan mac and cheese, stuffing with plant-based sausage, Brussels sprouts, pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, and more. You have to call to place a catering request by November 21st and pickup is on Thanksgiving. And then one I've been dying to try is veggies and that. So this is good for whether you want a single serving platter or catering for a group. So you get best of both worlds. Yeah. Um, and a single serve platter is $35. You can pick an entree of mushroom and beet wellington or a lentil loaf. And then you get a bunch of sides plus a sweet potato casserole pop tart from Shariah's plant-based treats. That sounds so good. So nostalgic. Mm-hmm. Um, or you can order from Shariah themselves. Uh, they have an order form for the holidays. It has a long list of Pop-Tart flavors like pumpkin snickerdoodle, salted caramel mocha, berry cobbler, and cherry chip. Oh my gosh, I just, I want all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Something aspirational for Francesca here. Yeah. Um, and then one more last up for us today, Allegro Bakery in Squirrel Hill. They are all vegan. If you want to pick up more bread, more pastries, they don't have a Thanksgiving pre-order specific page as of right now. Um, but honestly, any kind of pre-order there will serve you well. Um, They require three days notice, though, and payment before pickup. So if that is of interest to you, plan accordingly. Yeah. And as a reminder, if you missed any of this, if you couldn't jot down (laughs) the deadlines, that is okay. We have a ton of links and more information on our website at pittsburgh.citycast.fm. You can find our full Thanksgiving takeout guide there. Um, And please let us know if we missed anything. Um, You can always reach me in our inbox. That's pittsburgh at citycast.fm. That's all for today here on CityCast Pittsburgh. If you're liking what you hear, especially on our Thursday food and drink shows, we really put so much heart into those. Consider giving us a friendly rating on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. I know people say that on podcasts all the time, but it really does help. And it's also just a nice way to show the CityCast team that you care. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from around the city. Talk to y'all soon. Sweet potato. Oh my gosh.